and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over the daily riddle and potentially a card if they do drop one. Because I know it's on, during the whole, was it the Halloween promo? They did drop some LTD cards on Sunday, so I'm not, I'm going to hold out of play, uh, hope in this video. So it might just be the riddle, it might be a little bit more. Obviously, I have to wait and see what might come out. But for the time being, you guys know you got to do your daily riddles. Kralo did mention at one point in the stream that if we did every daily challenge, there might be a card or some kind of reward at the end. So I recommend you get them all done. Now, initially, you're only able to play these once per day, and that was it, and they were going to go away, but they're still there. I even read something that said, like, they'll be gone at 10 at 10 a.m. the next day after every day they come out, they should be gone. But they never disappeared, so I guess they're giving us more time to do it, so I'm not complaining. It makes it easy for me, so make sure you're doing your daily solos every day. If you guys haven't already, it is over here in the Harvest Dailies, right up all the way up here in solos. Harvest Dailies. Now, there's up to four of them now, and so far, I've given you all the other two riddles, so well, there's three riddles. So, you should have all three. This is day number four. Now, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. If you want to keep coming back every day for your riddles, make sure you subscribe and turn that bell so you can be ready for your riddles every single morning at the same time, every single day. And also, we just hit over 12.5k, so let's get keep it riding to 13k. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get to 300 likes in this video. You guys have been killing it on the with the like button, and especially the dailies. You guys have been coming here every day for that, so thank you guys for showing consistency and support every day as I keep grinding out videos for you guys. And make sure to comment down below. Anything you have any feedback to make the challenge easier and potentially on the card that could come out. Now let's get into the Harvest Daily Challenge itself. Now coming in over, it's back in my daily is the one. And there is milestones in the tote. If you get all the I guess if you get all the stars that are available, you could get 10,000 coins, which is beneficial for some of you guys. Now, the one we're worrying about is from coach to player. So this is when Jason Garrett was the back quarterback and he ended up starting for this game. Now, let's go back in time to 1994 Cowboys versus Packers when Jason Garrett stepped on as the starting quarterback for the Cowboys. Which two are facts? Select your two answers from the artwork below. Use the correct answers to complete this challenge. Now, it starts in the third quarter, and now you don't have to actually play the whole thing. When you click on it, you just have to rush for 125 plus yards, and then complete the two secret objectives. So now, to go through it, Emmitt Smith rushed for two touchdowns. The Cowboys allowed less than 62 yards passing each quarter. Jason Garrett threw for less than 250 yards, and Emmitt Smith had over 150 yards rushing. I'm gonna take off the camera so you guys can see. So those are the answers in the corner. So now, Starting with D, Emmett Smith had over 150 yards rushing. Now I have Pro Football Focus open, and it appears that Emmett Smith had 133 yards rushing. So, D is false. C, Jason Garrett threw for less than 250 yards. Jason Garrett passed for 311 yards, so that is also false. So that leaves us with B, the Cowboys allowed less than 62 yards passing each quarter, and by process of elimination, B is correct, and Emmett Smith rushed for two touchdowns. As we look on Pro Football Focus, Emmett Smith had 133 yards for two touchdowns. So A and B are the correct answers. So you're gonna to wanna to be going and doing A and B. Now, to get these done, <coughs> excuse me. Let me get the camera back on for you guys real quick so you guys can see me. Now, to get these done, it starts in the third quarter. It's not too hard. Number one is your first two drives. So I'm, I'm assuming that means you have to get two touchdowns on your first two drives. So you have to score back-to-back -back rushing touchdowns. And then in the third quarter, less than 62 yards passing each quarter. I'm assuming that's just for the third quarter. They allowed less than 62 passing yards per quarter, so you have to do the same. So blitz them, do what you gotta do, play whatever defense you need to play. Now I'm gonna hop into the solo real quick to just show you guys how the thing ends and just to prove to you guys that the answers do work. So one sec. All right, so you don't need any kind of yards. You do, well, you need 125 rushing yards, so you do technically wanna get some decent field position here. So my best bet would be to probably have fair caught that, just letting you guys know. I'm gonna come out in a quick little inside zone. Some just quick little big hitter play. I have Barry Sanders now, so hopefully, you know, that can get the job done. These challenges are not the easiest, to be quite honest with you guys. I don't know if you guys have really played these too much, but they actually kind of play defense. So you do have to anticipate that they're going to do that. So all you got to do is obviously get the two touchdowns back-to-back -back quarters and then just play good passing defense. It's not the hardest thing in the world, quite honestly. Just hurry up offense inside zone. Let's get the first. So goal updated, that's obviously the rushing yards that we're getting. Now let's run it again. I personally like inside zone. I think it's just an easy playing you get good blocks you get a good release every time you won't always score you won't you know you won't score big plays every time but it definitely gets the job done inside zone again now i think fatigue actually matters in this specifically which is weird because typically solo challenges fatigue doesn't really bother them oh maybe not the other ones were my players were getting pretty tired actually so there we go that's one touchdown as you see the rushing progress went up and our yep that's it the one out of two so the first one was the rushing touchdowns so now let's skip on over to defense and show you guys that all right so i forced the fumble so here's the issue right 
Defensively, that's fine, but you do need the rushing yards, but you also can't run backwards. Like, usually I recommend, like, oh, I'd, right now what I would do is I'd pass backwards so I can get 80 yards. But you do actually have to score touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So if I don't score on this drive, I do lose the challenge. So you can't really risk going backwards. Your best bet is just to take the touchdown on back-to-back -back drives. And then on your third drive, when you have to come out again, you could just go for the uh, the yardage, which shouldn't be too hard. Keep running, hurry up, take as quick as possible. As you guys can see, I do have the two touchdowns about to be done within a little under two minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. They really sent the house. All right. I'm going to do an outside run here because obviously we're on goal line. It's probably a little easier for me. So like I said, in my opinion, get the two touchdowns first and then go and then on the third drive, go for it. And just don't want them to get passing yards. So what you should do is when you do score the first time and you actually end up kicking it off to them, I would hit stick them because it's almost a guaranteed fumble in arcade mode. So you want to hit stick them, knock them out, get the fumble. And then from there on out, they're going to have no chance to even get anything on you. So as you can see, the secret objective is just done. So let's get back on defense and finish off the rest of this challenge. You guys can see I got the other fumble, but I do need the yardage this time. So I'm going to actually run backwards because you need the 125 yards no matter what. And now defensively, they didn't even get a chance to run on me. So I recommend you guys always hit stick them. On arcade, it's going to be extremely unlikely that they actually get a chance to score on you or do anything or even get yards because as long as you hit stick them, they will fumble. It's almost like guaranteed on arcade mode. You hit stick them, they're going to fumble. So here we go. Let's get the final yardage to end this game out. And Barry should be pretty good. How far are we off? Let's see. We have, we need 30 more yards. This challenge is taking me no longer than about three minutes, so it's not going to be too hard for you guys. They do play defense, surprisingly, which is really weird because, like I said, most challengers do not play defense, but these play defense. And not that I really mind, but it would just make it a lot easier if they didn't. And see, like, they're actually trying to catch Barry there, and Barry's definitely a lot faster than them. But that is the game right there. It took me no longer than four minutes, as you guys can see on camera. And that was pretty easy. And you can see I completed the 125. I did complete the two touchdowns. Now, the, here's the thing. I think it might not end until the quarter's over because you cannot allow one, you cannot allow 60 something yards in the quarter. So I think you actually, I think you have to actually play this one specifically, which is weird because usually you don't have to actually finish these daily solos. But again, like I said, here's the best bet. Kick it off. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit stick them on the kick return. Make sure you line someone up. So I like to always get the first guy in here, get around him. There we go. Hit stick. Oh, he didn't actually hit stick. Okay. So you're going to have to actually play defense now. So one sec. All right. I got an easy user pick right there. Now I'm just going to go down. Guys, they have no timeouts. So again, pretty simple from here on out. So just not allow you go. I'm going to go inside zone. I'm going to go chew clock. Chew the rest of the game out. And I'll come back to you guys pretty much when this is done. But it should go pretty quickly. Let's see. I mean, the, the field position isn't great, obviously. Just go down as much as you can. With five minutes left, it's going to be kind of hard to kill five minutes in only like two short downs. It's a very short field right now. But I'm going to try my best to do it. I might have to actually play one more defensive drive. But the challenge itself is not too bad. It just takes a little bit longer. That's the only issue with the harvest daily is that they might actually take some time. Specifically this one. Usually they don't take time at all. But this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm actually going to go down here so I can get the extra first down. There we go. I actually might be able to kill this. All right, I'll come back to you guys when it's looking like we're about to end this game. All right, so I should close out the solo challenge. I actually was able to milk five minutes and 50 seconds in this short field of about 25 yards. Maybe a little bit more. Come on, Barry. Go down. Don't get a touchdown. All right, that would have that prolonged the game a little bit. So that should be the game. We'll know right about now if the objectives were right, which it appeared that they were. Let's see. Ultimate challenge completed. So we did get it done. Return to challenges. That's perfect. We got it done. So A and B are the correct answers. You need two touchdowns. You need to allow less than 62 passing yards. You need to have 125 plus rushing yards, which is the base requirement for the challenge itself. So that was not too bad. That is day number four, daily challenge uh, from coach to player. Pretty interesting. Hope this helps you guys out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, boys. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys can swing on through every single day. Come join the family. And by the way, real quick, like I said, just to give you guys have been asking what are the rewards for this. They did say that the reward should be some kind of reward at the end of all these. I don't know how long. Maybe these go every day until Thanksgiving. So it is the 24th, so probably like four more days. So at this point, maybe it could just be the day of Thanksgiving. You get oh, some kind of a pack. Or you get some reward. Maybe a nap player. I don't know. I'd recommend you do them, though, because they did say there'd be a player. So I, I'd, I'd be, I want to be on the safe side this time after I missed out on my 10. Also, quick little tip. Make sure you are playing your NFL 100 solos. I want to just remind you guys because these do expire pretty soon so you i don't know when what day the exact time you have to play all four of them and you have to get all the challenges done because you will be getting a free player at the end of these and you do not want to be like me i missed out on getting your free play like i did for month 10 so make sure you're getting that all done but guys that's about it for the video enjoy the rest of your sunday i should have two more videos up for you guys today so i should make three in total which is a normal day for me so expect that and like i said make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell come join the family and if you haven't already comment down below if you've done your daily solos 
And also expect a ranking video later today on the NFL 100 running backs. And make sure to smash the like button. Can we get 300 likes on a 1030 riddle video? I'd greatly appreciate it if we could. Guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.